how to turn decimals into fractions. Now, in some sense, decimals actually technically are also fractions. The proper name of decimals is decimal fractions. So the clue and the way that we're going to tackle this is by understanding our place value. So let me just draw in some lines here. So we've got our units here, we've got our tenths here, and we've got our hundredths here. Okay. So what we've got here is six tenths plus four hundredths. Now, remember, we need to have the same thing on the bottom in order to be able to add fractions together. So we can turn this 10 into 100 by multiplying by 10. So we do the same to the top. So that takes us to 60 over 100 plus 4 over 100, which means we've now got 64 over 100. OK, so that's our initial step. We now have 64 over 100 to simplify. So we can divide both by 4. If we divide the top by 4, 4s four into 6 go 1 with a remainder of 2. 4s into 24 go 6. And hopefully you know that 4s into 100 is 25 there. OK, so that's as simple as it can get. Now, we don't really want to have to go through the, all of this process every time. So what we notice is that the bottom of our starting fraction was 100 and the smallest part of our decimal was hundredths. So we can apply that to this next one. So the smallest part of this one, we've got units, tenths, hundredths, and this bit here is thousandths. So the bottom of our fraction is going to be a thousand and the top is going to be 375. So again, it's down to simplifying here. Now, it's quite useful if you can cope with dividing by 25 because otherwise it's going to take a lot of steps here. OK, so there are four 25s in every hundred. So there'll be 12 in 300 and then there's three here as well. So that means we've got 15 25s there. And again, we have 4 in 100, so we have 40 in 1,000. Now we can divide by 5 again here to get to 3 over 8 as our final answer. So one more time, we're basically looking for what is the smallest part of our decimal this is thousandths again, so we put a thousand on the bottom and then we just take our number and put that on the top and then if we can, we simplify it. In this particular case, we can't because 13 is a prime number. So that's how you take decimals and turn them into fractions. It's all about understanding your place value.